before you sit back and enjoy this video on Chocolate Tito versus Francisco Estrada, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Peace. And so Francisco Estrada is 41 and three with 29 KOs. He's 30 years old, 5'4", 66 inch reach. Gonzalez is 33 years old, 5'3", 52, with 41 knockouts, has a 64 inch reach. That first fight was an excellent tactical war between two highly skilled tacticians. And as you stated, that fight was fought in 2012. I think that the Strata victory, when I look at Chocolate Tito resume, I think that that's the best victory that he has on his resume. Since then, Gonzalez suffered two defeats against Sor Rumbasai. But Sor Rumbasai is totally different style-wise than Francisco Estrada. Rumbasai is rough and tough. It hits like a hammer. Estrada's style is less hazardous, but he does bring a different set of skills. I think that Estrada is one of the best counter punches in boxing. He's similar to me to like a Juan Manuel Marquez type fighter. Now, this victory, well, whoever gets this victory, it's going to be a huge victory for both, but I think probably a little bit more for Chocolatito's legacy. Um, to be able to come back and recapture glory at the tail end of his career. And I think it's huge because Estrada, he, he's been um, wanting this rematch for a long time. He always wanted to advance this rematch. I think if I had to predict right now, and it could change leading up to the fight, because I have to look at that Carlos Quadras fight again when Estrada was dropped in that third round. Um, so I'll revisit that, and then I'll look at Chocolatito's last fight as well. But right now, I have Estrada winning. And I think this is going to solidify his claim definitely as the best 115-pound fighter in the world. And then also, I don't think without a doubt, it'll legitimize his position as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. The other thing you got to consider is I think that Estrada, with a victory over Gonzalez in a rematch, you might have to, you know, start putting them in talks as being one of the top Mexican fighters of all time. So, but, you know, as I think about this fight, both of these guys, their styles, they blend real well. You know, Chocolatito, he likes the pressure. And then Estrada has very good balance. And he's, you know, he's excellent with his counter. So, again, I would lean towards Estrada getting the victory in a rematch in another classic. You did a great job of breaking that down. I don't have too much more to add to that. A lot of that is what I was going to say anyway. Um, but what is worth interesting to note is uh, they both started their career, I believe, at 108, and that's where their first fight was in 2012. Um, Chocolatito has not been as dominant since moving up to 115. Um, he has some solid wins at, at 115, but he has not been as dominant. Um, I do think people wrote him off too soon after his two losses, which is still wrong with them. Um, but at this weight class, at this point in their careers, um, I do give Estrada the edge, and so I can see him winning that unification fight. Yeah, I predict that this fight will be another uh, fight of the year candidate. Uh, this one is going to be a brutal one because I believe it's for the marbles. I think both guys, uh, as y'all both said, they have a lot going on the line. This is for, you know, legacy rights. You know, um, we've seen Estrada move up, you know, in the pound pound rankings, and he's he's definitely uh, gotten better and improved uh, more so since that first fight. I mean, even though their, regular, their you know, resume, records were similar at the time that the, the first fight, I think Roman Gonzalez was more established as a champion. And uh, Estrada was more green, uh, had a little bit more to learn, and it took him a little longer to hit that stride. Uh, but I think that will play out um, in this fight, like it's been playing out that Estrada is more so hitting his stride, uh, even though they all they both have been in some wars. I think Gonzalez, uh, he's been in more wars, and, and I think the, the, the rest did him well and moving up and weight. You know, it helped him a little bit where he has a little bit more. He's shown that he's had a little bit more left in the tank. Not more than Estrada, but he has more left in the tank than 
uh, what we saw previously. I mean, when he lost to uh, to Ramasai, um, a lot of people were saying that his career was over, and he showed it. You know, I'm I'm a, uh, I'm a great fighter. It's not over. You know, I still have fight left in me. Um, so this will be an interesting fight. I think it's going to be an exciting fight. But I think that Estrada has a little bit more back in the uh, career-wise. I think both won it. I think Gonzalez is going to put it all on line because he wants these legacy rights. But I think it's not going to be enough. And I think uh, uh, Estrada will win this, this fight. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.